Welcome to this lesson. This is an introduction to optimization. And I'd like to just introduce some basic definitions and vocabulary. Um, optimization means the process of finding the maximum or minimum values of something. And those maximum and minimum values themselves are called extrema. So to say that again, uh, the two types of extrema are maximums or minimums. And, and why are we even talking about optimization? Well, it's, it's one of the most common kinds of problems you might have to solve in the real world in an applied context. So if you're uh, a company, you might be inter uh, interested in maximizing the production of whatever it is that you make. Or perhaps you would like to minimize your expenditures. Uh, if you are a biological organism that has to look around and find a certain amount of food in order to survive, you would perhaps like to minimize the energy that you expend uh, when you forage around for that food, uh, right? You don't want to spend unnecessary energy. Um, if you're a medical professional or if you're designing drugs, you might need to know the time um, at which a drug concentration in a patient peaks. So a patient gets given a dose of a drug that makes its way into the bloodstream, how long after taking the dose is the peak concentration achieved? Um, if you're a public health professional, you might uh, want to know during the course of an epidemic, um, what is the greatest number of people that will be sick at any given time? Maybe you have to know that so you can design the proper, you know, sort of hospital support and so forth. Um, if you are a chemist who wants to synthesize uh, some particular chemical, uh, maybe you need to know the chemical parameters um, that produce the fastest reaction so that you get your product without having to wait too long. These are all, this is just a very small uh, number of the many possible examples of optimization. Now, I want to introduce the notion of local versus global extrema. Okay, so a local max or a minimum refers to the highest or lowest point in a small neighborhood, in an immediate neighborhood. Whereas a global max or min refers to the highest or lowest point in the world, where world means the domain over which the function we're thinking of is defined. And that could be infinite or finite. And I'm going to try to give you uh, two examples that encompass uh, all, of these, uh, all of these terms we've just introduced. So for the first example, you should assume here that this is an infinite domain meaning this function is defined on the entire real line. I'm only showing you part of it, but you should assume that it goes on forever in each direction, just continuing what it's doing as I've drawn in with these arrows. And we can talk about different points in here and, uh, and try to label them with this terminology of local and global max min. Okay, so let's take this point here. This is a local min, because if you look just to the left and just to the right, the function's higher in all those places nearby. It's the lowest point in the neighborhood, that's a local min. Similarly, this point here, this is a local max, because it's the highest point in its small region. And down here, this is a local min as well. Okay, that's for local, uh, local extrema uh, for this example. Then we can talk about the global extrema. So let's talk about the global min. Global min means the lowest point on the graph. And that's this one right here. So this local min is also a global min. If you want to ask about the global max, well, this function actually doesn't have a global max because as I've drawn in, it keeps increasing to infinity in this way and this way. So there's no highest point, okay? Um, for the second example here, this is actually a finite domain. And I've tried to indicate very clearly the domain on which it's defined with these black vertical bars here. So this function we're only think of, thinking of as being defined between negative two and three, okay? And we can again try to find the local and the global extrema. So that's, let's think about local mins. Um, well, this point, this is a local min because uh, it's lower than everywhere else in its little neighborhood. And actually that's the only local min. Um, if we want to think about a local max, well, something kind of new happens here because this function has borders. It has these endpoints. So actually this point is a local max because it is indeed higher than everywhere else that the, uh, in the small neighborhood um, on the domain that the function is defined, okay? Uh, over here, this is also a local because this point is higher than the stuff that comes near it, okay? 
Now we can ask about the global min and the global max. So for global min, we need to find the lowest point. Again, that's this point here. This is the global min as well. Um, for the global max, we have to find the highest point on the graph. That's this one here, global max. Now, in later lessons in this unit, you'll extend some of these ideas um, into uh, functions of more than one variable. But the ideas are always the same. Local max or min means you look in an immediate neighborhood around that point and ask if it's the highest or lowest point. Global max or min means it's the highest or lowest point on the entire domain that the function is uh, defined on. Okay, so we've reached the end of this lesson. I want you to reflect and ask yourself if you can just define what we mean by optimization and give a few practical examples. If you can explain the difference between what it means to be a local and a global extremum and if you can identify local and global extrema on a graph. Thanks for listening.